Good evening, everyone. Uh, Good, evening. As, Good evening. As Ali said, my name is Victor. I'm a member of POWER, which is uh, an acronym for People's Opposition to War, Imperialism, and Racism. We're, it's an anti-war group. Uh, we mostly organize in Broward. Uh, I just want to start by thanking One Struggle for the opportunity to speak to you guys today, uh, Khan in particular. He's um, No. He's thanked in spirit. Okay. okay. <laughs> Yes. I'll, I'll let him know later. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been to a couple of these uh, One Struggle open mics, and I think that they're great. I've been to some in Broward. I've been, I think, the only two here in Miami-Dade. Um, I think it will take a combination of political, economic, and cultural changes to bring about the kind of revolutionary change that we want. And Ooh. One Struggle, uh, I think, is unique in actually addressing all of those things. So I would like to commend you guys on that. Yay, <laughs> I would also like to warn you that I have already reached the two drink minimum today. <laughs> it's in accordance with my stagist theory of historical development, <laughs> which, which sees uh, basically the, the, inter the intermediate stage between capitalism and socialism is alcoholism. <laughs> but, um, I won't subject you to any more of my stand-up. Uh, I'm actually here for a very serious reason. Uh, very important reason, and um, yeah, Khan kind of mentioned it earlier. It's uh, Syria, <coughs> and um, yeah. So I think most of us know that the Obama administration is planning limited strikes in Syria very soon. Um, this is a very bad idea, uh, not just in terms of you know the loss of human life and all that. It's actually a really bad idea from the perspective of the ruling class. Uh, the situation in, in Syria is very volatile. There are at least five different wars going on over there. There's a proxy war between Russia and the United States that's taking place in Syria. There is also a civil war with, between rebels and the regime. There are conflicts between the rebel groups themselves. And there's also a regional conflict with uh, Iran and Hezbollah on one side and Saudi Arabia and uh, Qatar on the other. And so, uh, you know, we're, I'm part of Power, which is an activist group, but, you know, we're trying to struggle against this. And so before I go into what we're going to do, I think I have to preface it a little bit. Um, I generally think that contacting your congressional representatives is a waste of time because they are basically servants of the American ruling class and they don't really care that much about what you have to say. But at the same time, there are divisions amongst the American ruling class right now. Uh, there are divisions in Congress as to what course to take moving forward. It actually turns out that some of these people are not completely batshit insane, because that's actually what uh, attacking Syria uh, requires. Uh, the, the consequences of attacking Syria are completely unpredictable. Nobody, nobody is smart enough to know what can happen. Um, I mean, and, and the consequences are about, the possibilities, the possible consequences, the worst consequences, are about as bad as anything anyone can imagine. I mean, what happens with, as a result of these uh, limited strikes if, say, uh, Syria decides to retaliate with some of the arms that Russia has provided it? What if they happen to strike an American ship, part of the Fifth Fleet, in the Eastern Mediterranean with these missiles? What happens if one of Syria's allies decides to attack Israel? I mean, we could be facing a much broader regional conflict or perhaps even a global conflict. So the stakes are very high here. And so, uh, yes, yeah, so part of our strategy is to go ahead and pressure our congressmen and our senators. And although we recognize that even if, even if Congress doesn't approve uh, the use of force in Syria, uh, that it would be a tremendous uh, political liability for Obama to proceed with strikes. I think that that's why he actually went ahead and asked for congressional approval, because he realizes that without it, it's going to be very difficult for him to do what he wants to do in Syria. And so, well, I, I don't know. Uh, the, the situation in, in D.C. Is, is like this. Uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, at the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, uh, drafted a resolution, uh, and, and that resolution could technically go before both houses of Congress on Monday. 
So theoretically, they could railroad this through through Congress on Monday, and we could be launching strikes at Syria right after. But that is unlikely to happen because, actually, um, this bill has very little support in the House right now amongst people in the House who have actually expressed a position. It, they are ten to one against this bill. So what the Obama administration says about about actually having this support in Congress is is, is a bluff. You know, but he wants us to believe otherwise. And so what we in power are going to do, we uh, tomorrow we're organizing a call in. We're, we're working with groups in Tampa, in Gainesville, in Jacksonville, and Tallahassee to coordinate a, uh, a statewide call in for representatives tomorrow. And on Monday, we're, we're, uh, we're going to call, who is it? There we go. We're going to call into Senator Nelson, who is supporting military intervention. And on Tuesday, we're going to call Marco Rubio. And what's interesting about Marco Rubio is that he's a Republican and he's a POS and all that stuff. <laughs> but um, he has actually he actually voted against the resolution in the Senate, and representing those divisions those divisions within the ruling class that I was talking about. Uh, and he also wants to be president in 2016. He realizes that intervention in Syria is going to be a complete disaster. So he, at this point, doesn't want to be part of it. So, um, so yeah, that's basically uh, well, what power is going to do now. Also, if the U.S. actually uh, attacks Syria, we're going to respond. And we're also going to protest at the office of Bill Nelson the next Thursday.